when they say we're God's chosen people, remember that the name God is the word master. When they say we're master's chosen people, think about slavery. What does the God in heaven want to make? Servants. Servitude is slavery. The God in heaven wants your service. Your servants is what make you a servant or a slave. Yeah, we chosen. But what they're not telling you is that you was chosen to pick motherfucking cotton. You was chosen to motherfucking go out there and tar a master's field. Yeah, he telling you we God's chosen people. The slave master was God. And yes, God chose his slaves. They went to an auction. And your master, he selected you for the job. He selected you for your service or your servitude. See, we're taking these words and we're trying to make them so mythological that we forget the, the, the real reality of it here. The people who practice slavery learned it from the Bible. The Bible is a book of manifest destiny. The God of the Bible created the first slaves, which was the goddamn angels. The angels were created to be servants of God. And they were servants in heaven. What you think them angels doing in heaven? The will of God. Not their own fucking will. They following orders in heaven. Them streets of gold got to be swept, you know. How do you think the slave master justified having servants or slaves or having people in servitude? His God had the same thing. Them, them angels in heaven going to do what they're told, just like that damn slave is. If there's any cotton to be picked in heaven, you better believe God ain't going to be doing it. You better believe them damn angels going to be doing it. Slavery is slavery. I want to do my will, not the will of some God. You can't sell slavery to me by saying, well, you was chosen, no. Nigga, I was chosen to pick cotton. You happy about that? You was chosen to be a slave. Back when they had the goddamn auctions, what you think happened? The slave master hand selected his motherfucker. He, he said, turn him around, let me see his muscles. Yeah, I'm going to choose him to be, to be the nigga who run my carrot field. What about her? I heard she's good at, at tending to grapes. How much is she? I need someone for my great field. Maybe I'm going to choose her for that. She was chosen for her service. Today, we look at it like a good thing. He just told you we were chosen people of God, black Hebrews. And how do we know that's us? It's because we was in bondage. It was slavery. The Anunnaki had us mining gold. But he's proud of his own slavery just to be able to hold on to the title of chosen one. Not never asking the question, what were you chosen for? To pick cotton, to mine gold. You weren't chosen to be above your oppressor. If that was the case, we'll be in a better position than we are now. You was chosen to lead the world in the, in, in the poorest uh poorest economic motherfucking situation out of all the races you was chosen to lead the world in motherfucking genocide amongst your own people you was chosen to motherfucking lead the world in the lowest IQ you was chosen to lead the world and, and the people who have the less knowledge of self when you tell me I'm chosen I don't get happy I get worried. I say, hell on. Chosen for what? But niggas has just got happy because we the chosen people. Yeah, we were slave. You was chosen for, for servitude. The, listen, just like the God of the Bible created the angel to serve, the slave master created the slave to be a slave. You wasn't always a slave. The slave master had to whip and train you on how to be a slave. 
the slave mind was created just like God created the angel's mind. The angels don't think for themselves. They do what they're told and they were actually created to be servants. The angels were not created to be gods. God created the angels to be his servants and nothing more. All that angel could ever be to God is a damn servant. You were created to be a slave. You were chosen to be a slave. But you don't see how you happy about it, though. You happy about it. You identify with it, though. 